Oops. Good morning. I'm Michael from the Dairyman Barossa. Come on. Good. So the property's 80 acres. It's all of these flats across here and includes a hill behind, about 25 acres. Um, I was 23 when I bought the property. There was no farming background in the family, although I'd lived on a farm for about, on and off for about six years. And it was always a childhood dream to be a farmer. This one's Pearl. She's the boss. So daily routine, I usually wake up about 5.36 and then aim to be outside by about seven, milk the cows. What's happening Vashti? Hey, all this attention. Oh. I milk Jersey cows and from the milk we make cream, butter and as a consequence of butter, buttermilk. Because we make cream, there's a lot of skim milk that goes to the pigs, but the pigs get a combination of skim and whole milk. They, we also raise the calves, the male calves, and also the replacement females. We take me through to about the males to about six months on milk and grass. Over here, we've got some uh, Jersey heifer calves, so female calves. We're just going to feed them their morning feed of milk. But the cycle of the week is that on Mondays we'll make cream, Tuesdays we make butter, um, and usually Wednesday we pack butter. Hey Tim, how's it going? Good. Yeah. What batch are we up to? The first uh, one? First batch. Well, it looks good, isn't it? Always amazed with the colour. We put the cream into this churn here, and we whip it to the point that it separates. You can see the colour of the butter, really sunshine golden um, and as a consequence of making butter we get buttermilk which is one of our the third dairy product that we make cream butter and buttermilk we also then produce wine grapes for grand birch i've got 20 acres of vineyard uh, 10 acres of cabernet sauvignon and 10 acres of shiraz these are shiraz they're probably about two weeks away from picking and as a sort of a random item we grow oyster mushrooms as well these are oyster mushrooms. We start, this is the end of the process with the oyster mushrooms. They've, um, this is stage, stage three. Um, they come into the uh, growing room like this. It's just inning through the straw that they're growing on. And within about three weeks, they'll reach this stage. Come with me, I'll show you where the grain's grow. First of all, all of my products are raised on whole foods as opposed to a lot of industrial production as manufactured foods and often a big proportion of is waste products that is reused. The cows are substantially grass fed out in the pasture but we do feed them grain in the bale. It's good for their nutrition, it also just keeps them nice and quiet and settled while we're milking. They're very chilled and relaxed and I think it's the low stress environment which they have to live in. And it does contribute very much to the quality of the meat. The thing I like about the brossa or I appreciate the most, I think is, this is quite a big question, is connected. Uh, connected to the property, to the community, um, because it's the nature of the work I do through Thanks, Farmers Market, Hello. through my contributions that I, through community organisations. Thank you very much for coming along today. I hope you've enjoyed what uh, I've been able to show you and look forward to seeing you all at Tasting Australia.